in Lightshark, the full fixture editor allows us to be able to create entire fixtures all within the Lightshark interface. To get there, let's first go to our menu at the upper left hand corner and then go to patch. From there, we'll click fixture editor and now we're presented with three options. First, we can create a brand new fixture. Next, we can create a fixture based off of a fixture that's already in the fixture library. This can be a valuable time saver if you know of a fixture that's pretty similar to the one that you're going to create. Last, we can continue editing if we've previously been editing a fixture. As you can see, it's grayed out, which means I haven't been editing a fixture. Let's create a new fixture. The first thing we're going to do is give it a name. The name needs to be unique, needs to be within 10 characters, and cannot have spaces, but hyphens are okay. Let's name it LS Test Fix. Perfect. Now we'll set the mode. Again, just like setting anything inside the light shark, we're going to hold on the field, and then the pop-up's going to come up so we can name it. So we're going to call it Mode 1. And then we set the number of channels. So for this example, I'm going to set this to be 7. You'll notice I can click the plus and minus to add or remove channels, or I can hold in and type a value. Perfect. Here we've got the channels. As we can see, we've got seven empty channels here. The first thing we're going to do is simply click each channel, and then down here in the parameters section, we're going to select the parameter that we want to assign. So I've just assigned intensity to this channel. Now, if you see here on the right, we can set up some more particulars about the channel. For example, intensity is HTP by default, but we can set it to be LTP. We can change the label. We can change the value when we press find. We can change the default value. And we can also make it an instant channel where it fades in instantly or invert it. Let's fill out some more channels. I'm going to go in here, go to color, add a color wheel. So I'm actually just going to click and drag to find the type of channel that I want. Perfect. We'll go over here, we'll do a gobo wheel. Then we'll do some position. We'll do a pan. We'll do a tilt. Then we'll go to this next channel. We'll go to advance and do a uh, control channel. And then last, we'll go ahead and uh, let's do a strobe channel. Perfect. So now we can go ahead and actually set the values for each channel. So. If we go to a channel like color, we have a tab called ranges here. And this is where we can set where the different colors are within the channel. Now, for some channels like intensity, pan, and tilt, it's just going to be a continuous channel. So you don't need to set ranges. But for color, we will. So I'm just going to hold in, set my value. Let's say the first color is red. By default, it goes from 0 to 255. But if we shrink that down, say we only do that 0 to 100, we can add another color now. So now we'll add in a second color. Perfect. And you can do this for as many as you like. You just follow the DMX chart that the manufacturer has provided to you and copy it into here. Now let's go to Gobo. Say I set a range called Gobo 1. And then I'll set a second Gobo as well. This brings us to palettes. Here at the top, we're able to assign the palettes so that when we're in the main interface, we're able to quickly select the palettes and be able to get the look we want on stage. So I can go in here and I can see on the side here, I've got gobo and color for the gobo wheel and color wheel. These are the types of channels that allow us to have a palette in Lightshark. So we'll go ahead and here on gobo, we can give it a name again, just holding in and typing it. We can give it a descriptive name, maybe the name of the Gobo in the manual, or just Gobo1. And then for icon, we'll go in here, and we can now see the icon library. On the left side, we've got a whole variety of different types. And then we can choose a Gobo that we want right here. There's also the user Gobos. We're able to add in custom Gobo images if we want here. Now we'll go ahead, select one that closest matches our Gobo and press OK. Now we'll go ahead and set the value. This is where when you press the palette, 
the console is going to assign the DMX value. So for this example, I'm just going to put it at 10. Perfect. Now I can do that again for more gobos and can also do it for colors. Last, on the macros tab, we're able to set macros, which are under the control channel, that allow us to lamp on the fixture, lamp off, reset, things like that. So say I create my first macro here, we'll call it lamp on. Now we assign the channel. Now I have to go to my channels here and remember that function is channel six in this fixture. So I'm gonna put that on six, whoops. And then I'm gonna set the time, then I'm gonna keep on it. So let's say we, we just set it for about five seconds and then the DMX value for that channel. So to lamp this fixture on, it needs a value of 255. Perfect. We can set more steps if we need to. For example, to set the macro channel back to zero when it's done, or if we're done, we can go back to the channels page, verify everything's correct, and then press save. Now, if our name is too long, has spaces, too many characters, or is already in use, it's going to say that the name's not valid. So we'll press OK, go ahead and fix the name, and then we'll press save. Now we can press save again, and we get the success message. The last thing we can do is check our fixture. So we'll go to patch to add fixtures. Our new fixture will be found under user for the brand. And then we could find it here. I think we called it L. Yep, LS test fix seven mode one, and we can patch it. Now that we've patched one of them in, we can now press exit, select our fixture in the main interface, and we can see now we've got our parameters just as we assigned them, and we've also got our palettes. So for example, if we go to Gobo, go to palettes, we can see our Gobo palette that we created. You've successfully created your first fixture. Congratulations.